Hi, I'm Kev Johnson from Ringcast Solutions. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to connect Ringcast Analyzer version 5 and above to your Microsoft Azure subscription. So the first thing we need to do is obviously make sure that we're running Ringcast Analyzer version 5 or above. We can see from here that that's definitely the case. So I'm going to leap into my Azure subscription right now. So from here, if we go to app registrations, uh, we're going to create a new app registration. And this app is essentially going to represent the Runcast Analyzer that you're running, that you're pointing at your Azure subscription. So let's just give this a nice, easy to remember name. We'll call it Runcast Analyzer app. I can ignore all of the rest of this stuff. That's fine. I'm just going to register the app now. So I need to actually capture some information from this screen. And uh, the information I need is the directory or tenant ID. So I'm just going to copy that and I will paste that into my notepad just here. And then the next thing I need is the application ID as well. So I need the app or the client ID. So this is the ID that represents uh, the, the, the app that we've just created. And the next thing I need to do is I need to go to this Certificates and Secrets uh, tab here. And from here, I'm going to generate a client secret. So, Runcast Analyzer app secrets. Call it whatever you like. That's absolutely fine. I'm just going to hit Add. And then I just need to capture the value here. So this is the secret value. And I'm just going to make a note of this. Again, in my notepad, I'll copy and paste these back in shortly. So that's the initial setup of the app. We then need to tell the tell Azure what permissions we need it to have. So if we go to the API permissions, and we're going to add a permission. We're going to use the Graph API, and we need to select application permissions here. Let's just find the directory. So the privilege I need to grant is the directory read all privilege. So I'm going to add that permission now. And we can see here that we need to grant admin consent. So I'm going to grant admin consent there. There we go. And that's that side of things done. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to go back out here and we need to select the subscriptions that we're going to grant that app access to. So if you have multiple subscriptions, you may need to do this more than once. Um, I'm just going to do it on this free trial subscription that I've got here. So I need to go to Access Controls or IAM and then Role Assignments. And then I need to create a new role assignment. So the role is going to be reader because we only need to read the details of the Azure infrastructure. And we're going to use the app ID that I just created. So there's the Runcast Analyzer app. Hit save. We can now see it's being added as a reader for the subscription that I've got there. And that's all done. So the next step is I need to come back to Runcast Analyzer. And I need to actually connect it up to the Azure subscription. So if we come in here in the settings, I can now add my Azure subscription. So if I just go to my notepad, I will copy out the tenant ID. And we'll paste that in there. And then the client ID. And there we go, there's the client ID. And finally, the client secret. And once I hit continue, this should now connect to the Azure APIs and validate that those details are correct. We can see we've been successfully, uh, we've successfully added the connection in here. So our next step, as is always the case when we add a new system to Runcast Analyzer, is to run an analysis. Now I'm just going to run an analysis of the Azure subscription. We can see my uh, VMware subscription was last analyzed 10 hours ago. We just see the analysis in progress. This is going to take maybe a few seconds because it's a very, very small subscription. Uh, but once this is done, I'll be able to then explore uh, the findings against my Azure subscription for things like uh, CIS. There we go. We've, we've successfully run an analysis. We have a look at the inventory. 
Uh, they expand in here. We can see we've got some. There's there's Poppy the dog, Sebastian the cat. And uh, here's some some of the resources that I've got deployed in here. So for instance, this app here um, has got you know we we're not abiding by the CIS recommendations here, for example. So uh, we, we we would want to work through these in exactly the same way as we would with any other findings within Runecast Analyzer. So that's it. In this video, we've walked through how to connect Runecast Analyzer version 5 up to a Microsoft Azure subscription. If you have any problems, please do hit us up. Um, Twitter's probably a good place. You can get us at Runecast on Twitter. Um, hopefully this was helpful for you and thanks for viewing.